Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today we're going to look at parabens. Parabens are endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs, which are found in shampoos, conditioners, shower cleansers, face and skin care products, and in many grocery store products. In other words, they are everywhere. Although the research is alarming, but inconclusive, even the American Cancer Society and BreastCancer.org are now mentioning EDCs, such as parabens and phthalates, as a possible link to some hormone-driven cancers. Now, I've got your attention. They may be labeled as ethylparaben, butylparaben, isobutylparaben, methylparaben, propylparaben, or other names ending in parabens. Just read your labels and look for paraben. To date, the country of Denmark has restricted both propyl and butyl parabens in children's products. Good for them. Parabens are a group of synthetic compounds used as preservatives in cosmetics and pharmaceutical products and in the food industry. What worries many public health advocates and officials is that while individual products may contain just a limited amount of parabens, which are within safe limits as set by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, it's the cumulative exposure to the chemicals from many different products that could be overloading our bodies and contributing to a wide range of health problems. Something to think about. Since 90% of common items are found in grocery stores containing parabens, the concentration in our bloodstream adds up now, this is according to Dr. Chesna Kindred, a dermatologist at Howard University in Washington, D.C. According to the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics, which I suggest you support and watch what they're saying, they say of greatest concern is that parabens are known to disrupt hormone function, an effect that is linked to increased risk of breast cancer and reproductive toxicity. Parabens mimic estrogen by binding to estrogen receptors on cells. Research has shown that the perceived influx of estrogen beyond normal levels can in some cases trigger reactions such as increasing breast cell division and the growth of tumors. Wow. A British study published in 2004 discovered that parabens could be measured in breast cancer tumors, yikes, and as I researched more about these endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs, I found that the cosmetics and skincare products I was using for more than 25 years were loaded with all different kinds of parabens and other EDCs. So until more research is done, I made the decision, the personal decision, to stop using any products with parabens and other EDCs until more information is known. Currently, health advocates are trying to get parabens banned from products in the U.S. Please do something about this. But this gal who was diagnosed with an aggressive and deadly estrogen-fed breast cancer, has already put my own ban in place, just in case this contributed to my cancer diagnosis. And now both my gynecologist and oncologist are saying that they believe they did. And I was getting these from many products. So to not use these paraben-containing products means that the products I do use have a shorter shelf life, but that's okay. It's not unusual these days to see a product that says contains no parabens or contains no phthalates gravitate towards these 
products. Estrogen and synthetic chemicals that act like estrogen play a role in stimulating the division of breast cells and they affect other hormones that stimulate breast cell division. Your body does not easily break down synthetic estrogen and it can accumulate in fat cells, including breast cancer tissue, I mean tissue, just breast tissue, which is mainly made up of fat cells. There's more. Endocrine disruptors such as parabens can lead to early puberty in adolescent girls and boys. Haven't we been seeing this for quite some time? Endocrinologists have observed that the average age of puberty is decreasing over the past several decades. And they're seeing girls as young as eight years old to exhibit breast development and pubic hair growth. Endocrine disruptors can also lead to testicular enlargement and breast development in young boys, as well as lower sperm counts in men. Something to think about, this is alarming. An October 2015 study at UC Berkeley demonstrated that parabens may be more potent at lower doses than previous studies have suggested, which may spur scientists and regulators to rethink the potential impacts of parabens on the development of breast cancer, particularly on HER2 and estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, which makes up 90% of all breast cancers. As a HER2, estrogen-fed cancer survivor, this more re recent research has caused me to really totally ban these parabens and EDCs. If you've ever wondered why hormone-fed cancers are on the rise, why puberty is coming earlier to our young kids, why men are getting estrogen-fed breast cancer, and why we're having so many problems with infertility. These endocrine-disrupting hormones may be one of the reasons. It's time we wake up and realize what is happening all around us. Yes, we live in an estrogen world. I just recently made a video called Living in an Estrogen World. It'll be referenced in the show notes below. You must see it. And it's not just coming from within our bodies. Some or even more of your body's estrogen may be coming from the outside in. What products are you finding that contain parabens? Start going through and seeing which ones do. When you see products with parabens, stay away from them. And you'll see more and more products saying no parabens. Yes, we are living in an estrogen world. As a result, after going through an aggressive and deadly breast cancer, we have banned parabens in our home. I can't even show you an example today because they are banned from the Brandt household. And I suggest you do the same before our country finally decides to ban them themselves. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it, that's how other people find out this important information, and click the notification bell under the three dots so that you'll be notified when I post new information. Until then, keep your family safe, and here's to your continued good health. God bless.